Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. Nope. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Wait a minute. I mean, forgetting the fact that... What the fuck? What's happened? Oh, sorry. Silly me. Since I'm using a, a DualShock controller, my computer thinks it's it's not actually being used and it went into black screen screensaver mode anyway. Nearly hit the snick just then. I was gonna talk about how weird his introduction was, like, hey I'm a ghost, go climb up this tower. It, you know, that was weird, but that was John Cleese's voice. Because he played a nearly headless Nick in the movies, didn't he? I only just realised that. They got John Cleese for this game. Along with uh, all the other actors, I suppose. Because Ron sounds like Ron. But Harry just goes, Hup, uh! Hup, 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 hey. And then he burps. I love that. Okay, now there's these other bits. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think there's actually anything up there. Look at this face. It's something about the wobbly nature of them, you know, that makes them feel more alive than they actually are. Maybe I'm just trying to think up random bullshit things to say that I love about this game, even though it's actually a bad thing. The textures are wobbly and they don't make... they're not, you know, they're glitchy and, you know, oh, you should want better resolution. Well, fuck you, I don't care. Ah, seizure. I don't have epilepsy, but if I did... From a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. This seemed to make a lot more sense when I was younger. But why the fuck is he just a ghost telling me that to kill snails that just happen to be out here? And why has nobody figured this out yet? And look at this dance I can do. It's the, the lock on dance. My favourite. You can do this. Flipendo. Wait, what the fuck? That's a different voice. Let me hear that again. Flipendo. He whispers it. Why does he whisper it? Why is it? Right. Normal knockback jinx flipendo, and then big old charge up, and then. Flipendo. The fuck? They got a different voice actor for Harry Potter, even though you know you didn't even say anything in this game. He just reacts to other people. Flipendo. Flipendo. So it's like slight pitch alterations on Flipendo. It sounds like an American trying to do an English accent. Why'd they do that? The first one was fine. He went, Flipendo! Like he really meant it, like, Pshh, I'm gonna smash you with this knockback. Wham! Right in your face. But apparently not. This Press one. the triangle button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to flipendo in this room. I love the fact they just turned it into a verb. Right at the end there. I always like that narrator guy. Well, you know narrator, he's just... Oh, I think that is actually, he's the guy who narrates the books. Uh, the memories. I remember. There's things that you can do. Yeah. Things you can do to get points, house points, and some of them are kind of arbitrary and kind of weird. Flipendo. By the end of the game, it doesn't even matter because Gryffindor always wins. But I always want to see how much I can get because Flipendo. there's always a few I miss out on, and I never really looked up to find Flipendo. out like what the maximum was or find out exactly how to get all the things. So I'm just gonna st I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm not gonna find out how to get all the things anymore. Than I already know. I'm gonna just play the game 
And if people say, what, you missed the thing? Well, I'm going to be like, well, fuck, I didn't know. I don't need to go, I don't need to go this way. There's a frog. I don't need a frog. Seems my other analog stick doesn't work. Oh, shit. You imagine that rat, that stupid little rat, that all you need to do is knock back Jinx at once. I was so scared of that thing that I wouldn't even come up here until I sniped it from the other balcony. I would just stand over there shooting at it. It was like, I, I'm not going over there. It's too scary. It's a rat. He's going to see me. He's going to... Uh, he's, he's aggressive. Just too much for me. Oh, goodness me. Who could this be? Why, it's... It's, uh... I don't actually know. I can't remember. Was it Voldemort? Was it Quirrell? Spoilers. It was... Me! I guest star in this game. Flipendo. It sounds weird. He sounds like he's four. Flipendo. Instead of ten. Thank you for five points. Well, you've made it this far. Now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flipendo knockback jinx I just to moved move it. it, you idiot. To cast a charged knockback jinx. I already did the cut. Well, I guess he didn't tell me before. I knew because I'm a veteran. I'm a hardcore OG of Harry Potter flipendo. and the Philosopher's Stone. You don't know me. You don't own me. Flipendo. You don't blow me. But if you did, that would be nice. But that's <laughs> irrelevant. I'm playing Harry Potter. You don't need to do that. While I'm playing Harry Potter. You know? Yeah, I'm annoyed that my... My camera analog stick, the right analog stick, doesn't seem to be working. Oh well. Maybe the, maybe I can't move it anyway. I moved it here because when you do that, you can get over there. But I don't need to do that because it's a frog. So I can just go this way. Six strats, you know, I learned these strats when I played this game before. Also, why do feathers open the locks and why do the locks fall off and why do they go through the floor and why do they not even exist anymore? Well, you know why? It's because of oh, magic, that's why. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. <laughs> Use the R1 button to point your wand at... I love the absurdity of this. I, I, I guess I just never really registered it properly. Neville Longbottom saw Malfoy ran run through this passage with an owl. Now he's trapped by an enchanted book collection. And he lost his wand, so he's just there forever. If nobody came to find him, he would die. But at least he would be able to read. But oh no. His eyes fell out. That's a reference. Get it? Now I'm what you would call cultured. Except I wasn't born in a Petri dish. I can hear your laughter. It's it's deafening. The lever is around here somewhere. You found it. There, I found it. Yeah, you found it, Neville. And now, how do you know that's what it did? You walked around and you turned around before you knew the lever opened the bookcase. <gasps> oh, whatever. <gasps> that guy on the right. He doesn't look like a wizard. He looks like an anime character but with a normal face. She looks like a gingerbread lady. No, she doesn't. <gasps> it's Hedwig! You got funny feet. How the fuck did Malfoy set this up? And why did he go through all this trouble? To put Hedwig in a cage in a huge room that apparently has no use at all. Except for this moth to live in. And that moth. I guess you could have bear arena fights in here. Whatever. <laughs> 